Beneath the serene beauty of the Pacific Northwest lies a chain of sleeping giants, majestic snow-capped volcanoes that have shaped the land for millennia and could, at any moment, reshape it again. The Cascade Range, stretching from Northern California to British Columbia, is home to some of the most dangerous volcanoes in North America. Towering over cities like Seattle and Portland, these volcanoes sit silently now, but silence, in geology, is never a guarantee of safety. In 1980, Mount St. Helens erupted with the force of hundreds of atomic bombs, flattening forests, choking skies, and shocking a nation. That was just one volcano. There are over a dozen more, and recently, subtle signs, swarms of earthquakes, shifting ground, whispers of gas from hidden vents, have begun to stir beneath their surface. Could this be a sign of what is to come? Are the Cascade Volcanoes waking up? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The Cascade Volcanoes owe their existence to a dramatic tectonic process that occurs deep beneath the Earth's surface. Along the western margin of North America, the Juan de Fuca Plate is slowly sliding beneath the North American Plate in a process known as subduction. As the oceanic plate descends into the mantle, it heats up and begins to release water and other volatiles. This lowers the melting point of the overlying mantle rock, producing magma that rises through the crust, ultimately feeding the volcanoes of the Cascade Arc. This subduction zone creates a volcanic arc that spans more than 700 miles, forming over a dozen major volcanoes and many smaller cones, domes, and fissures. Notable peaks include Mount Shasta and Lassen Peak in Northern California, Mount Hood and the Three Sisters in Oregon, Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, and Mount Baker in Washington, and Mount Garibaldi in British Columbia. The type of volcano most common in this arc is the stratovolcano, steep, conical, and built from alternating layers of lava, ash, and pyroclastic material. Unlike the shield volcanoes of Hawaii, Stratovolcanoes are known for their explosive eruptions, which can have devastating consequences for the surrounding regions. These eruptions are driven by thick, viscous magma that traps gases until the pressure becomes unbearable and is released in violent bursts. The combination of geological activity, population density, and limited public awareness makes the Cascades one of the most dangerous volcanic regions in the world. The history of the Cascade Volcanoes is one of awe-inspiring eruptions and long periods of deceptive calm. One of the most iconic events in American geological history occurred on May 18, 1980, when Mount St. Helens erupted catastrophically. After two months of seismic unrest and visible swelling, a massive landslide, the largest in recorded history, unleashed the volcano's northern flank triggering a lateral blast that devastated nearly 230 square miles of forest. Ash clouds rose 80,000 feet into the atmosphere, paralyzing air traffic and depositing ash as far as Oklahoma. The eruption released 24 megatons of thermal energy, about 1,600 times the power of the Hiroshima bomb. Though many were evacuated in advance, 57 people still lost their lives, and the eruption caused billions of dollars in damage. Then, in September 2004, after years of quiet, Mount St. Helens stirred back to life. Over the next three and a half years, it produced a slow-moving, dome-building eruption that steadily extruded lava into the crater. Though less explosive than in 1980, it was a powerful reminder that the volcano remains active and is capable of an eruption any time. But Mount St. Helens is not the only Cascade volcano with a history of eruption. Mount Rainier, the tallest peak in the range, has erupted multiple times over the past 10,000 years. Its last significant eruptive period occurred around 1,000 years ago, making it one of the more historically active volcanoes in the Cascades. Mount Hood in Oregon erupted in the 1790s, and geologists believe it is capable of erupting again with little warning. Mount Shasta in California has erupted multiple times in the past 4,000 years, and Mount Mazama's massive eruption, roughly 7,700 years ago, formed the iconic Crater Lake, burying the region under meters of ash. These historical eruptions remind us that while the Cascades may slumber 
they are never truly asleep. In the past year, subtle but noteworthy seismic activity has been recorded beneath several Cascade volcanoes, raising questions about what lies beneath their calm appearance. Most notably, a swarm of over a dozen earthquakes, each less than magnitude 2.0, was detected beneath Mount Adams in early 2025. Though too small to be felt on the surface, the swarm prompted increased scrutiny from scientists at the U.S. Geological Survey and the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network. Similar low-level seismic events have continued at Mount St. Helens, which has remained intermittently active since its last eruptive phase ended in 2008 while Mount Rainier and Mount Hood have also shown minor quakes consistent with their typical behavior. Though not currently waking up, the volcanoes are under close watch, as the shift from routine activity to real warning can happen quickly, and often with little notice. Though the Cascade Range appears calm, scientists agree that another major eruption is inevitable. Volcanic activity in this region is driven by the ongoing subduction of the Juan de Fuca plate beneath the North American plate, generating magma beneath more than a dozen major volcanoes. Many of these volcanoes have erupted within the past few thousand years and remain active today. Mount Rainier is considered the most dangerous volcano in the United States, not just for its eruption risk, but for its massive ice cover. Even a minor eruption could unleash deadly lahars racing toward Washington, leaving residents with less than 40 minutes to escape, threatening over 80,000 people and turning calm valleys into disaster zones. Mount Hood, just 50 miles from Portland, Oregon, and Mount Shasta in Northern California, one of the largest volcanoes in the Cascades, also pose serious threats. Both lie near major cities and transport routes, and even small eruptions could disrupt water supplies, shut down highways, and blanket communities in ash. If Mount St. Helens erupts again, nearby towns, hit hard in 1980, could once more face catastrophic lahars, flooding, and ashfall, as the landscape still bears the scars and instability left behind. Other volcanoes, such as Glacier Peak, Mount Baker, and the Three Sisters, have shown signs of unrest and also pose risks to nearby towns. Lahars, ashfall, and pyroclastic flows are the most immediate hazards, but long-term impacts include power outages, air traffic disruption, crop failure, and economic losses potentially reaching tens of billions of dollars. Though the exact timing is uncertain, the science is clear. The Cascade volcanoes are active, unpredictable, and could erupt with little warning, putting millions of lives and vital infrastructure in the Pacific Northwest at risk. Even a moderate eruption could unleash chaos. Despite these threats, the United States is well-equipped to monitor volcanic activity. The USGS's Cascades Volcano Observatory in Vancouver, Washington, serves as the nerve center for real-time data collection and analysis coordinating with federal, state, and local agencies to issue timely alerts. A sophisticated network of seismic sensors, GPS stations, gas detectors, and satellite imaging is used to detect ground vibrations, surface deformation, gas emissions, and other subtle signs of volcanic unrest. These systems provide scientists with critical data to assess risk levels and identify early warning signs before an eruption occurs. Public education and preparedness have improved over time. High-risk communities regularly conduct evacuation drills and hazard maps are widely distributed. However, limited funding continues to hamper comprehensive coverage, particularly in remote areas. Advances in artificial intelligence and satellite technology are further enhancing monitoring capabilities, offering near-continuous surveillance. Yet, despite these improvements, volcanic forecasting remains an inexact science where speed, coordination, and preparedness can make the difference between resilience and catastrophe. The Cascade volcanoes are not going extinct. They are, by definition, active, each with its own unique behavior and eruption history. While the current state of activity remains within normal bounds, history tells us this will not last forever. The real question is whether we are doing enough today to prepare for the inevitable. In the coming decades, 
climate change may add complexity to the equation. Glacial retreat could destabilize volcanic slopes, increasing the risk of landslides and lahars. Meanwhile, growing urban sprawl into hazard zones places more lives at risk. Scientists can monitor, interpret, and warn, but preparedness ultimately depends on political will, community engagement, and sustained investment in early warning infrastructure. We know how these volcanoes behave. We have seen what they can do. So when the ground begins to shake again, more violently, more frequently, will we act in time? Or will the next great eruption catch us watching but not ready? Share your thoughts about this in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.